how do you think the gay rights movement affected the mental health of those involved at the time? Yep. So Sydney said, I think it seemed to help people by showing them that it's okay and they're not alone. The people of the gay community were probably afraid at first because they were so used to hiding who they are, just like Harvey used to do when he was, um, before he became a activist. But yeah, I think it brought a lot of hope and a lot of attention to um, their needs and their struggles. The question is, how do you think this movement affected those afflicted with HIV in the LGBTQIA plus community? Do you think this heightened the stigma surrounding HIV in this community? How does that make you feel? But I think that, you know, while it was happening, um, there's always going to be backlash, but there was still hope. Um, I did see in like the end, they were talking about how a lot of people from the movement had initiated HIV um, support and all that. Um, I think I'm sure, it, sure it did heighten the stigma though, um, just because there's always going to be the backlash when there's hope. Um, I think even though this heightened the stigma around surrounding HIV in the community, it brought a lot of attention to it. Um, so it probably provide a lot of resources and people um, getting together and spreading awareness about HIV in the community. So I think it's a good thing too. All right. So what have you learned regarding the intersection of mental and physical health after watching this film? How does this understanding carry over to modern day and your role as a student pharmacist? Um, I think as student pharmacists, it's really um, important for us to understand mental health. Uh, it's just as important as physical health. And a lot of um, you know, people in our profession actually don't really take mental health, you know, their own mental health into consideration because pharmacists and um, medical profession are one of the professions that have the greatest um, suicide I, um, statistic. Um, so I think that just kind of like help us to understand more and kind of like educate our patient more about mental health. Okay, so the last discussion question is, how do you think the COVID-19 has affected members of the LGBTQIA plus community, their mental health and the resources available to them? And then what resources in your local community are available to support? Um, but for the LGTB community, it's our BT community, it's, I think it's even worse because there's a higher amount or like rate of um, people that are immunocompromised, like HIV is like much more prevalent in this community and that opens them up to like opportunistic infection. So um, they're at a much greater risk from COVID-19, but not only from like um, immunocompromisation, but like discrimination as well in like in finding healthcare. I agree with Sui. I also feel like um, with COVID nineteen and the whole like stay at home orders or social distancing, it can put some some people in the community at like a disadvantage for mental health, where they feel more pressure or like. If, if they live in a like more toxic environment where they don't feel accepted, um, that can take a toll on their mental health and stuff like that. Jessica put uh, some of the resources um, in the local community that are available to support people in this community in the chat. So that's there for you for your reference if you need it. So definitely people being home in toxic environments has probably um, decreased you know, their, their mental health, um, giving them mental health challenges. But there's also a lot of people who have been able to explore their sexual and gender identity because they're not in the public eye constantly, like at school. Um, and so for those, if, if they're in supportive families or if they're able to stay away from their families, um, I think COVID has even been a little beneficial in that respect. I do know he flag um, had they had meetings, which of course were canceled and then moved online. Oh, oh, that's good. I didn't know that there was a resource such as that in Spokane.